Peace, what's going on? It's your off-grid producer back with another video. And today we're gonna talk about Beatmaker 3 versus Zen Beats for the iPad. Now, Beatmaker 3 is only available for the iPad. And when I did the initial review of Zen Beats versus FL Studio, at the time I didn't have Beatmaker 3. So real quick, I'm not gonna draw this video out too long. I'm just gonna get right to the points on what I like about Beatmaker 3 and then what I don't like about Beatmaker 3. First of all, Beatmaker 3, the sampling. The sampler that's built into Beatmaker 3 is really nice. I mean, it's probably one of the best samplers that I've ever worked on. Because you can do a lot. You can manipulate the sample. You can auto slice. You can dedicate your songs. Um, you can key group your sounds. So if you want to cut, if I want to cut that sample down, for instance, I'll take this sample. And this is where you would cut your samples. You go for your auto slice, your slice mode. You can do a split, grid, or detect. I will usually just split it. You can split it 16, 32, eight, however many you need. And so once it, it auto chops, you can do a live stretch. Then you have all these different parameters, you know, down underneath the wave uh, file. So then you, after you have your sample cut, now you can hit keys and your sample, you'll have different, you'll have different sounds that you can, uh, different chops that you could cut. Now, this is a long sample, so I would, I would cut it down. I would cut the sample down, probably auto slice it, split times two. I would probably slice this down to 32. But see how easy it is? Simple. And for this this reason, I really do like Beatmaker 3 over Zen Beats when it comes to the sampling and what you can do with it. Another thing that I like about Beatmaker 3 when it comes to like your drums and the drum rolls I, I, like I like this pad there's a pad over here to the left then you can roll your samples and you can roll your hi-hats and stuff like that pretty pretty good not saying that Zen Beats doesn't have a way for you to do that they have a sampler, they have a way for you to do it. It just doesn't work as good and as easy as it does in Beatmaker 3. Now, I think I got the main thing out the way. Um, also, two third party plugins work fine with it. There's actually a plugin called D1 by Audio Kit. And for some odd reason, it will not play in Zen Beats. But, the, but it will play every time in Beatmaker 3. So that's another bonus because D1 is a, is, a, is a pretty cool synthesizer that I would like to be using more in Zen Beats. So, yep, the sampler is better. Uh, the plugins, the fact that you can play multiple plugins, I enjoy that better too. Now, some of the things that I don't like, first of all, it can be glitchy um, uh, for some reason with Beatmaker 3. It definitely can be glitchy. I've, I've, it shut down I'm in the middle of making a beat and it just cut off. Uh, Zen Beats don't, I'm not saying it's never done that, but it's done it a lot more often on Beatmaker 3. That's what I noticed. Um, another thing that I don't like is I don't like this timeline. The way the grid is. 
Uh, it's just kind of like a little bit kind of cheap or whatever. It just it doesn't the interface, the grid could work a lot better. You know, when it comes to making beats, Zen Beats grid works a lot better when you're moving around notes and, and things. It's just it's just easier to do. You can there's a like a select all button on the side. You can pitch all your notes up, all your notes down, different octaves and, and pretty much easy, you know, easy. So it's not that I don't like Beatmaker 3. I do. But I think when it comes to making a full beat, uh, Zen Beats is just much more organized when it comes to making beats. You have your step sequencer mode, but you also have where you can, um, you have loop builder mode where you can stack your loops up and then you can send them onto your timeline. And it just really makes it a lot easier um, when you stack them up and down instead of left right so you can go up and down to stack all your loops together and then once you it goes over to your timeline um timeline mode it'll go from left to right and you can go in there and edit and do what you need to do um that feature i really enjoy that feature on zen beats so i mean which one is better it really depends if you're used to the MPC style, the live performance, things like that, um, you know, Beatmaker 3 might be better. Maybe not live performances because of because of how glitchy it is. But when it comes to like making MPC style beats from scratch, if you like that, um, you know how it sounds like a loop sync comes back and you can do it step by step and make your beats like an MPC. That is, if you like that, then Beatmaker 3 would be easy to adjust. Me, I'm not necessarily a hardware, I'm not a hardware person, uh, NPC, you know, stuff like that. I, I don't have a lot of experience working with the hardware. So, you know, for me, I'd rather go with Zen Beats just because it is more doll like, if that makes sense. But overall, they're both good apps. They're great apps. Um, Zen Beats just has more to offer. Zen Beats, their built-in sounds, the ZC1. You know, you basically got Phantom sounds, Juno sounds. Uh, you know, of course, it's, it's rolling. So you got all your 808s. You know, you also got a store, dedicated store. Beatmaker 3 does too. Um, but Zen Beats has new sounds too every so often like every I'm not sure a couple of times a month there's new sound packs and they're not free unless you have the different versions of uh, like the membership you can go with a membership or now they just have a one time fee and with Beatmaker 3 it's just a one time fee and then they have sound kits and sounds too. Zen Beats give you a lot more. So I'm going to be working in Beatmaker 3 more. I'm still new at it, but I'm getting the hang of it. And it's, I'm, I'm starting to actually like it. They're, so they're both good. You can't go wrong with either one. But I think when it comes to making a full beat, I just don't think Beatmaker 3 has everything you need and then i don't know how it works with recording vocals i haven't recorded any vocals you can record vocals into zen beats pretty good so that's it that's my take on these two dolls i was going to open up zen beats and go through those and and, and kind of show you some things but i'll save that for another video that'll take up more time so i appreciate y'all watching and listening and more videos is coming. Peace.